Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we continue our conversation with Leo Arusi, who is the founder and CEO of the Structivity Group. Welcome, Leo. Thank you very much for having me, Gerhard. Can you share a case where you have completed a transformation uh, within a company to move from uh, product or company centric to customer centric? I'll, I'll use one example actually is outside of the US even though we've we've worked in the US as well we've actually delivered projects in 20 different countries so we know these models actually work with different cultures and, and so on and so forth. This is a case from the UK it's a, a utility company called Eon it's a major provider in Europe for gas and, and el electricity for, for customers. We work with one of their divisions who had very very acrimonious relationship with their customers to the point that some cases we had verbal abuses and, and things like that morale among the employees was not exactly great they were delivering multiple uh, services and actually the interesting thing was that the first challenge when we presented to them the concept executives all agreed but somehow we feel that they were not connecting until we understood that they were really and, and this is something we're coming across everywhere uh, people are saying this is a great idea but we're doing it already so we needed to really build a case and properly demonstrate to them what what this is all about we started with the journey mapping as we talked about yesterday and we mapped the complete customer experience across different touch points channels and so on and so forth we then built through our diagnostic which is called experience 360 this is a proprietary diagnostic that we built we we measured the experience across four dimensions, employees versus customers, attributes versus attitudes. So attributes will be, you know, are we delivering on a timely manner, are we delivering the quality that you want, and so on and so forth, as well as how do our people engage with you. When we completed the Experience 360, we delivered the results, and the interesting thing is when you look at the experience from the perspective of the customer and then from the perspective of the employees, you can start seeing where the performance gaps are because you are tapping into the minds of the employees who are actually delivering on that experience. Uh, we complemented that effort by actually doing a drill down. So we did a day in the life of an employee who goes to deliver to a customer, a day in the life of a, an employee in the call center, a day in the life of the employee who's serving a customer in, the, in a certain environment. Because we wanted to see all the tools that are available for them, uh, all the authority issues, everything there. We immerse ourselves in the company operation and between the quantitative and the qualitative data, the Experience 360 and the drill down, which is called Experience Inventory, we got back to the company and we said, this is your state of affairs, but here's the prioritization. Not everything has to be done immediately. These are the elements that are loyalty builders versus loyalty uh, uh, burners, and we need to work with you on those things. Leah, what, what happened when you presented the results? Originally, people were in denial, as I mentioned. It's a typical thing in customer experience. People always believe that they're doing it already. And we, we sat down there, we presented the results. It was all data-driven. They couldn't, they couldn't escape. We had large body of, of customer voice and, and employee voice and these were their employees they couldn't deny it and I, I remember one of the executives said you know I just feel like two buses hit me at once and the guy next to him says hey make it four for me it was a humbling experience for them uh, but what we did is we didn't let them sulk we, we immediately right after the session had our consultants sit down with each one of them they had a scorecard these are the root causes in your division these are the quick wins these are the long terms what can you commit to within a week from the time we presented the results we had an action plan signed off by these executives so we could communicate back to employees and customers and this is by the way one mistake that a lot of companies do they do a customer survey but they never tell them what they're going to do about it we circled back and it bought us a lot of credibility with the customers who were now willing to lend us some more time to go and fix the issues we communicated back to the uh, uh, employees and customers and then we started innovation sessions basically every employee in the company was involved in the innovation sessions because the message is innovation is not something that just few people do with their white uh, you know coat uh, in, in a lab this is what you do in every interaction did you invite customers so for these sessions no we have done other sessions with customers we, we have uh, one of the, one of the action items was to start involving customers in wide variety of activities much earlier because what they did they did the traditional thing they'll design their own and then they'll have the customers come to validate and you know there's a whole game around it and we wanted the customers to to uh, to uh, to be part of the co-creation in the innovation sessions that we did it was more about how to rather than solve the problem so we wanted to make sure that each one of them feel that they're empowered and they have the skills to do it and that they get customer experience at that memory level our goal was you need to create a memory of 20 years not 20 seconds don't be boring boring is our enemy
And one of the most fascinating things that in those sessions, and I, I'll give the credit to the managing director, is that when he took people who cleaned the toilets and people who, who are managing directors and put them in the same session. It was a cultural message. Everybody's equal because the ultimate unifier is the customer. Thank you, Leo. We're going to continue our conversation with Leo Arusi tomorrow where we'll talk about five tips that can help you make your organization more customer-centric.